All right, the best for last, Space Designer. I've been fascinated with this particular plugin since about 2005. It hasn't changed since then. And I'm telling you, of all the DAWs and all the plugins and all the thousands of things that are on my iLock, this is one of the top five most fascinating devices ever. And I hope by the end of this little tutorial, you will agree. I've kept a lot of these little things to myself for quite a while, and I figure, well, just give it away. I've got this Fusion Apple Loop. Again, not because it's great, but because you can follow along if you'd like. It's also a green Apple Loop. Okay, so that I can play. I have my mixer, and if you're wondering why it looks so constrained, I'm just doing that for space sake. You can check components on and off here. Okay. I want to launch a SIN because the space designer, I want to be on a separate channel so that I can put stuff after it. And so we do it this way. We go bus, bus one, and right away it gives me an aux send. And I can turn up the level to that. And then on that auxiliary, it's receiving on bus one, I add a space designer. In the next video, I'm going to explain all about this. But for now, I have my own categories here. I've built a couple of traditional reverbs, a black hole that is just the absolute biggest ever. And I'll show you how to do all this. One of my most coveted is the conductor's position from the now torn down Todd A.O. Studios. This is where Star Wars and a bunch of films that you've heard were recorded. The building has been torn down. And it was in LA, and and I happened to know somebody that had some orchestral things recorded there, and I took a part of that and made an impulse response out of it. Beautiful. But you know what? The traditional stuff is not why we're here, is it? We're doing extreme sound effects design. And in here, I have traditional reverbs, tonal reverbs, single strike reverbs, abstract reverbs, rhythm-based reverbs, and this area here. Here's one that I like. This is a 12-string guitar. And you can see that Space Designer is giving me entirely new tonalities. More melodic stuff would include this Dobro. So what I'm doing is I'm taking melodic phrases and turning them into convolution reverbs. And it doesn't end there because I can also do the same with drums. And I have some rhythmic ones that I've made.
quite literally an air ratchet. Kind of like a side chain effect right here. And all this is done with the Mighty Space Designer. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do all of this in the next video.